Welcome to FairburyTV.com. I'm Stacy Boyce with Thursday Night News. And I'm Jim Headley. Tonight on FairburyTV.com's Thursday Night News, we will take a look at an anhydrous ammonia leak near Diller, a large brush fire in Jefferson County, and what's inside the marquee at the Bonham Theater. But first is our top story. Mike and Jamie Diller finally got their day in court. The Dillers have been battling with Jefferson County over the maintenance and closing of the Farmsteads Bridge, which has left their home stranded on the wrong side of the creek. The Dillers cannot access their house with a motor vehicle, as the only way in or out is blocked by a dilapidated bridge that is barely safe enough to walk on. Emergency services also cannot access the area without trespassing on Union Pacific Railroad right-of-ways. District Judge Patrick McArdle heard the Dillers arguments and Jefferson County's rebuttal April 4th in Jefferson County District Court. Mr. Cassidy, I, I'm willing to do this as far as um, holding the record open. It, it appears that uh, Mr. Warner um, is objecting as he's entitled to do to uh, Register of Deeds records that aren't certified and depositions uh, that aren't certified. Uh, and I would have to sustain um, those objections unless there was an agreement by the parties that, that I could consider them without those certifications. And obviously, there's no such um, agreement. So, what I will do. Uh, if you wish, Mr. Casson, is hold the record open and I'll set another date uh, for evidence to be presented. And that would give you an opportunity to present certified copies and also to provide copies to uh, Mr. Warren. Both sides will reappear before McArdle on April 24th for an evidentiary hearing and McArdle likely plans to take all evidence under advisement and make his decision in the future as both sides seek a quick summary judgment from the district court. Saturday evening, April 6, shortly after 6 o'clock, the Diller Fire Department responded to leaking anhydrous ammonia tanks. A pickup driven by Sonia Ayala of Hebron was southbound on 581st Avenue pulling two anhydrous tanks. When the tanks began to sway, causing the driver to lose control. The two tanks then rolled over in the ditch, leaving the pickup upright. Ayala was life flighted to Lincoln after inhaling the ammonia. Diller Fire Chief Jeff Nelson said, taking time when pulling in hydrous tanks to and from the fields is important. A little extra time for safety is best for everyone involved. Score big at the Playmore Bowling Alley. Open bowling, birthday parties, blacklight bowling on Saturday nights. Randy even offers league bowling May 29 through July 31st for teams of four with flexibility to make a night of bowling up if unable to make scheduled league time. Have you worked up an appetite? Dine in at Playmore Cafe for a lunch special served Monday through Friday or a full menu any evening. How about one down your lane? Playmore Cafe has evening home delivery from 5 to 9 for just $2. Call or stop in today, whether you're wanting a home-cooked meal or just wanting to play. What are you wearing? Excuse me? We're doing a commercial for MSA and you're wearing that? What's wrong with this? It's spring out. Don't you know we offer awesome in-house screen printing and embroidery? You need to wear this. This is wonderful. Do you know how much my clients would like this? Do you know how much your clients would like 30% off for the rest of this month? Yes. Call us today at MSA Promotions at 402-729-6141. Jerry and Sharon Croce have worked together for 27 years as the owners of Waggles Jewelry at 515 Court Street in Beatrice. They have sold Waggles Jewelry to Don and Todd Nickel. Quality customer service as well as quality jewelry has been a 75-year tradition at this location and Sharon is excited that they were able to find someone that they feel sure will carry on this tradition. Waggles Jewelry will have an open house on Thursday, April 11th from 5 to 8 p.m. Fairbury Rural Fire Department was called to a controlled burn along the Little Blue River one mile north of Highway 136 on 566th Avenue on April 5th. 
The landowner had been burning brush piles the day before, and when winds came up, embers rekindled and ignited surrounding grass. Due to the high wind conditions, mutual aid was requested from Jansen and Fairbury Fire Departments. Assistant Chief Judd Stewart said, recent fire training with the Fairbury Fire Department helped firefighters bla battle the blaze. Spring is right around the corner. Stop in at Sims Florist and Gifts for a little something to brighten up your home in someone's day. We carry an array of decor items and florals, including wreaths, silk, and real flowers, not to mention our jewelry, purses, hats, and hair accessories. Located south side of the square at 424th Street. Plow Day in Fairbury, Nebraska. Tractors from as far as 50 miles away gather to hit the field and participate in Plow Day Sunday, April 7th, near Fairbury, Nebraska. This is one of the first opportunities for many of the antique tractor owners to get their tractors out and work out the cobwebs after being stored all winter. The Plow Day serves as a reminder to many a farmer of their history, as the oldest tractor was close to 100 years old, sporting metal wheels as it rolled across the pastures. Blacksmithing exhibits, as well as the old-time shucking and corn grinding, were also set up to remind spectators exactly how far farming has advanced. Traditions are being passed from old to young, as they are taught to appreciate all the hard work it took to build up to present day. Mark Croker, a 15-year-old Fairbury Junior Senior High student, has been given the opportunity to participate in a trip to China with a group of 40 students from the Midwest. Croker was nominated by a teacher for the People to People Ambassador Program over a year ago and he was recently accepted into the program. He has been involved in several fundraising activities to help pay for his trip. The family has established a savings account at First National Bank in Fairbury under his name. The total trip will cost about $8,000. He is scheduled to leave for China June 24th and will be returning home on July 10th. Saturday, volunteers tore into the decaying Bonham Theater Marquee in downtown Fairbury to see what kind of structural damage they might be dealing with. The marquee was made completely of wood, which had rotted severely over the years. They removed the entire interior of the marquee. Wheel & Deal of Fairbury offers late model low mileage vehicles, rentals and U-Hauls for your moving needs. The smallest to largest trailers in stock, which includes cargoes, flatbeds and trailers of all types. Keep your investments protected with tri-state building carports, buildings or barns. Look to Wheel & Deal for a new green mountain grill complete with grill accessories, rubs, and spices. Kent promises to keep you stocked with wood pellets for all of your grilling needs. Check out the Gravely and Aaron's Outdoors Power Equipment before leaving. He not only sells, but services all equipment. Kent at Wheel and Deal won't disappoint you. Drive on up north to Highway 15 in Fairbury. Hi, this is Holly Richardson with Need Therapy, established since 2007 as a licensed massage therapist. Since becoming a mom, my life has become very busy but rewarding. I am now pleased to be announcing a new technique to my practice known as myofascial release. I will hold my certification as of April 8th and would be pleased to answer any questions or to inform you more about the bodywork. Right now I am solely practicing in Hebron, running Monday through Thursday, so give me a call and take some time for yourself. Space is limited. Thank you all for your dedication, support, and patience. Thank you for joining us for the Thursday Night News. Well, that was fun. Thanks for tuning in to Thursday Night News. Special shout out to Kristen and Jenny for that great tutorial they gave us on the Harlem Shake. It really helped a lot, and I hope that uh, we did you proud. So 
Thank you for tuning in to the Thursday Night News. Don't forget the Saturday morning show. It is a blast. You don't want to miss that. We'll see you next week. Good night. Hi, this is Jim Headley from the Fairbury Journal News and FairburyTV.com. We've got the Little Blue River taking some pictures tonight as the sun's going down and the bugs are coming out. We've got a fisherman over here. He's not having much luck tonight, but I think he's enjoying the weather more than the fish. Have a good summer. Bye.